And we begin this noon time with the latest on news that was breaking last night at 10 and 11. Fire breaking out of the shopping plaza in Fall River. A longtime business, it's called Burns Power Tools, destroyed and surrounding shops were damaged in this fire. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joining us live this noon time in Fall River as the cleanup is underway today. Amanda? Well, Danielle, the cause of this fire is still unclear right now, but it was massive. Five alarms. Every on duty firefighter in the city last night was called here to help fight it. And I want to show you the aftermath. Cleanup crews just arrived here on scene minutes ago to begin the long process of cleaning up. We spoke to the owners this morning who said they are in complete shock. Every active fire company in the city is here right now. A five alarm fire in Fall River destroying a staple in the community. Burns Power Tools, a family business dating back to 1934. Every tools you need, you come here. Nice quality, very good quality, good price. People work, he's very good. Customers like Eddie Lopes hope to do some shopping this morning, but pulled up to find the shop like this. Fire Chief Roger St. Martin said, while this plaza is home to several businesses, it's believed that the fire started inside Burns Power Tools. Once firefighters saw the roof was caving in, they backed out of the building and attacked the fire from the outside and above, as several explosions rang out from inside. It's a tool shop, so they have magnesium batteries in there. Uh, they had so a couple hundred magnesium batteries there. They have uh, ammo for the um, blank ammo for the um, the pneumatic guns. They used uh, so so again. There was a lot of small explosions throughout the whole night. He said magnesium inside, along with lithium batteries and propane tanks, made matters worse. Smoke from the fire billowing into the sky, visible for miles. It's also the um, the lithium batteries. Um, when they actually heat up, they can cause thermal runaway and it's almost like an explosive fire. The owner of father and son, third and fourth generation owners, spoke to 12 News off camera, emotional and in shock. They said they're worried about their loyal employees. I, I really hope they can open again in the city. I I'll be, will be very sad if the city lost their business. Now, Mayor Paul Coogan was also on scene this morning. He spoke to us and said the city will do all it can to help these owners in this business get back on its feet. Live in Fall River, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.